Hi everybody, welcome back to Towns. Oh my god, Fort Fantastic is about to become a reality. We're, we're here, we made it to the north. Um, we, we didn't make it here with Fernando though, sadly. Um, his arthritis just crippled him on the way and uh, and we had to leave him. We had to leave him in a field before we got into, into the snowy part of the world um, where he's just grazing with a couple of friends, a couple of friends that we met on the road. So he's fine, we'll, we'll go pick him up the way back to Sipsville. That'll be fine. Um, but here we are. We, we made it as far as we, we can. We're freezing. We have no food. We have we have nothing. Um, I picked up a couple of a couple of straggling bastards up along the way. People who just didn't have anything better to do other than to follow me up here and help me build a fort. So fantastic. We've got we've got Jacqueline, we've got Maria, Jasmine, Rose, Walter, Amelia, Aleth. Mm. Muriel, Godiva, Sedony, and Terrawin. The original 11 for Fort Fantastic, and, and hopefully they all survive. We gotta be careful of these bastards here. See these Yeti? Oh my god, they're just like, they're just like trains with fur on them. Um, they just travel at like 500 miles an hour, uh, and they come through here, and they just try to kill everybody. So, um, I mean, if you're ever gonna start on a snow... Oh, check this out, we got some copper. We've got some gravel. Oh my god, this this is actually not a, not too bad of a map. We're gonna make our way over here uh, to get things set up. We we can we can get some pig farms and some cow farms set up uh, straight away. Also, we got this pear tree here, which we can use to grow more pears. And um, we're playing 0.47b, the latest version of the game. Uh, so we've got wheat wild wheat growing on these grassy areas, which which is good. Um, I'm not going to bake a lot of breads in this series, um, hopefully, but I'll definitely use the wheat um, so that I can make flour and then I can make pies, because um, as, as you're about to see, it's it's really hard to grow food on the, uh, on the snowy maps. So here we go. Um, first things first, we got to get everybody over here. Uh, the best way to do that is to um, till snow. We're going to till snow. We're going to just till a huge area of snow here. Um, because we're gonna we're gonna need it anyway because we're gonna plant some of these snow cherry trees But if there's enough work for everyone to do uh, the minute I unpause the game They're just gonna all rush over there and hopefully these two Yeti aren't gonna come in and uh, and cream everybody So so here we go. I'm gonna unpause uh, I'm gonna make the game speed fast and oh god. Yeah, look at them go everybody wants to till the snow and um, That that that's it basically we, we survived we survived the first minute of the snowy level and hopefully these these jerks are going to be able to build one amazing fort. So um, here we go. Let's get under the ground here too. We don't want to spoil our, our grassy area because it's very important. We're going to need to build a lot of animal pens on here and stuff. And uh, and let's get uh, let's get harvesting too. Let's get some people harvesting this wheat and stuff. And and tilling. Let's till let's till some of this here. We'll till some of this grass here. Um, because we want to plant the wheat. And this this is a new feature as well. See this see this menu option here, planting? We can plant wheat, um, and which we're gonna do. We're gonna plant it all, all here and here too, as much as we can. We can't do it on the snow, uh, but we can there. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna go pick up that wheat that was uh, harvested and they're gonna turn it into, into seedlings. And now this wheat is just gonna grow all the time and we can harvest it anytime it's grown and we can do stuff with it. It's gonna be amazing. Um, let's also gather this pear tree here, and then we can actually plant, if we till the land here, till this grass right next to it, uh, we can plant another pear tree with the pears that were harvested. So as soon as, oh god Maria, hurry up, Jesus Christ, there we go, we can plant another pear tree, see we got rows here, turning the, the pear into seedlings, and then planting the tree. We got another pear there too, so let's uh, let's let's get that planted too. We're gonna need all this fruit. We got an apple bush, gonna turn into a tree at some point too, and uh, and we'll do much the same. So really important to get get your food stores up and running. Um, also, we need carpentry too. We're gonna make a makeshift carpentry area here. Um, God, yeah, Fort Fantastic's first carpentry area. Oh boy. Um, let's chop some trees. Chop chop some of these snowy pine trees oh god yeah chopping them all down come on everybody feel the love everybody we're chopping trees we're, we're really really just destroying the landscape here everybody's having a great goddamn time already fantastic 
Um, carpentry bench, we need up uh, straight away um, so that we can make a ladder, so that we can get down. And, uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to build a ladder here. Um, there we go, carpentry bench. Build a ladder here, and we're going to get everybody down uh, underneath the ground, and then we're going to dig. And then everybody will go down there, and once they're done digging, they'll stay down there too. Um, because another thing that's, that's kind of hard about the snow levels is the fact that people just eventually end up wandering out of the um, boundaries of your camp. Uh, and if they do that alone, like, uh, like Walter's about to, uh, he's going to get eaten by a yeti. And we don't want that to happen, so here we go. We're going to get them all underground. We're going to dig out this huge area down here. And, uh, and that's where we're going to store all of our stuff, too. We'll get them to tidy it up down here, maybe put down like a nice floor or whatever, get some living quarters and stuff, um, just, just to sort of get started. Oh my god, I can't even hear myself think. There's just too much dinging going on there. Um, let's, let's give that a little break for now. Oh, well, they're almost done. Jesus Christ. Okay, pausing the game now. Um, I'm going to set up my first stockpile for wood, and um, we're going to set it up here. We'll make it reasonably big. Um, just go to manage the stockpile, disable all, uh, manage the stockpile materials, and enable wood. And they'll get rid of all this snow, these snow piles that are on the stockpile, and hopefully they'll pick up the wood and take it down. We've got two pieces there. We'll chop down a bit more too, because uh, we're going to need some wood. Uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to get somebody outfitted with uh, a stone spear because they do a lot of damage and also some wooden armor and um, whoever that's going to be is is going to be immediately named captain of the guard because we can do that now he can be a supervisor but he's going to go on patrol first uh, police academy style and uh, and he's going to slowly start to dispatch some of these these yeti that are in in the way of things that we want to get um, we should also gather this actually uh, no let's do that in a minute Okay, so we got a bit of wood, um, just pausing again, and we need a stockpile. Actually, no, we need a wood detailer. We'll make some barrels in a sec, too. Okay, there we go. Who's going to do it? Somebody somebody should do it. There we go. God, Amelia, hardest worker ever. Right on the case. We'll chop down some more trees here. Oh, yeah. And uh, as soon as we get a prepared food barrel up, we'll, we'll gather some, some snow cherries. And then we can plant some more, actually. Um, that's a good idea. Let's just do that now. We'll plant some snow cherry trees um, because people are going to be eating berries for a long time. Um, let's just get a couple of snow cherry trees there with, with, the, with the cherries that we pick. Are there any Yeti around here? No, there's not. Okay. Should be safe to get the cherries off that tree. Oh, yeah. And this one too, actually. Here we go. Oh, actually, well, I don't know. Um, might need some some double team action if this. No, he's going away. That's fine. Okay, great. Uh, so, wood detailer. Hopefully, somebody is. Uh, hello. Where where did Amelia go? Oh, do we not? No, we have wood. What the hell's going on? God damn it! Come on, come on, Maria. You show them how it's done. She doesn't want to show anybody. She's she said she's sick of working already. Jesus. It's a bit of a uh, bit of a drama queen already. We're trying to we're trying we're fighting for our lives here. We're freezing. We don't have any clothes or food or anything, and uh, and already she's uh, she's complaining. So so there we go. God damn it. God damn it, Maria. Can't take you anywhere. Uh, hopefully more people come down. Actually, I don't want Muriel just sitting out in the middle of nowhere there. So let's let's also get all this dug out. There we go. Everybody should come down now. Even Muriel, who thinks she's better than everybody else already. And uh, Amelia's just having a nap on the uh, on the tilled snow. God, that is... That's probably pretty uncomfortable, actually. I, I would be pretty uncomfortable. Um, but there we go. Chop some more wood. Um, what do I actually need for the detail? Oh, yeah. No wonder. I need some stone. Uh, let's get some stone here now. Let's dig through here. I think that's going to dig us right through to the big big stone area up there. Should be good. And, uh, oh god, we might as well just straighten it out too. What a mess. It's already turning into a huge mess. But there we go. We got a bit of stone, so somebody can make the wood detailer. Then we can make a food barrel. And then once... Oh my god, look at all this crap. Yeah, sweet. We got some pears. Oh yeah. And, and wheat. Oh god, they're going to start... Harvesting the wheat, fantastic. And uh, it, that means that they'll just plant more too, which is great. Uh, that's what we want. We want them to plant the wheat. Actually, harvest harvest this too, that'll be great. Um, oh my god, look, it's it, 
It's not Fernando, but it looks just like him, and he's just sitting there staring at everybody, being a bit creepy. That's not very nice. Um, we're quite lucky with this setup so far, too, because we've got a cow and a pig, uh, which we'll catch uh, pretty soon, and uh, and we'll make a, uh, a pig and a cow pen. Um, Socrates and Copernicus are around here somewhere. That's that's probably Copernicus there, although there's quite a few birds, so it's it's quite hard to tell. We'll have to see which which one of these birds ends up cheering people up the most um, is probably going to be Copernicus. So there we go. Uh, let's um let's get some more ground tilled here so that we can plant more pear trees. Oh boy. We've got Jacqueline and Rose tilling the land. A bunch of farmers. And we'll get two more pear trees planted. Hopefully, if they can move that pear. Come on, move this pear, please. Or or eat it. You can eat it if you want, that's fine. Let's get our first barrel set up down here anyway for prepared food. Uh, and then we can start putting some food in there and people can start eating, having a great time. It'll be fantastic. Um, we'll also get the masonry area set up. Um, let's just get that set up here. And we're gonna need a mason's bench, but also we're gonna need a stone hammer. There we go. We got, a, we got an order in for stone hammer. And uh, actually, while we're at it, now that we've got some stone, let's get our um, stone spear made. Oops. No, we need the mason's bench first. Um, in the meantime, let's get some wooden armor made. Oh, yeah, this is going to be fantastic. Somebody's going to be so pimp in a minute. A helmet, a breastplate, a pair of shorts, and some shoes. Oh, yeah. And as soon as that mason's bench is done, uh, which should be in a minute, actually. We've got the stone hammer there. There's a badger in the way, too. Um, I, as tempted as I am to kill the badger, I won't, because they're scarce, and we can make a badger pen and a badger arena later and watch them fight. Oh, God, yeah, that's going to be fantastic. I cannot wait for that. Um, all right, let's get this spear made. Uh, looks like all the armor is coming together, and we're going to have to think of somebody that we want to make into the... Um, Captain of the Guard. Hopefully, hopefully whoever we make the Captain of the Guard is going to stay the Captain of the Guard for a little while. That would be nice. Um, we don't want people to die straight away, but um, you never know. It's, it, it's, it's, hard to, it's hard to predict in this game when people are going to die or not. So um, as we've seen in the first series, when all of the cool guys died during a big siege. Jesus Christ. So here we go. Everybody's just running out into the snow. Um, partially naked, not not a lot of clothing on uh, any of these people really, um, but dedicated to the cause. They they want to make a fantastic fort, and it's going to be great. Oh yeah, we'll get all this gathered so we can plant some more snow cherry trees. Take a little while to grow back, so um, you want to make sure that that you've got them sort of set to grow. Um, there we go. So get one there too. And uh, eventually we're going to have tons of these. And as they're growing, we can keep harvesting them. And then we can fill them, uh, fill the food barrels here and people can eat them. Uh, they don't give people much food, but um, enough to survive. Um, so here we go. Who? Oh, God. Who, who's, who's, who's a big enough badass? God, look at this guy. Look at Walter. Look at that hairdo. Holy shit. Rose and Jacqueline have blonde hair. Um, not that I have anything against blonde hair, um, necessarily. Terowin, wow, what a name, Jesus Christ. J just that name alone, let's let's get him on it. Let's get him equipped. Um, so here we go. Terowin is e equipping himself with all the armor and the stone spear. And now we can convert him to a soldier. We can also, sorry, I keep pausing because it's, God, it's like, like pant shitting material we can assign them to patrol this is also a new feature and check this out oh god uh if you set set him as a patrol or a guard he's just gonna mill around here it's not like it used to be where you set him to um a soldier and he just tears around the entire map killing everything you can you can tell them where to go now so here we go terowin we can say we want you to fight this yeti and to do that we're going to add a patrol point for you here and, and off he goes. Check this out. I unpause it. Here comes Terowin. He's coming down here. Sees the Yeti. Some epic gyration. He's, uh, he's still healthy. And, and we can see that the Yeti 
is now dead, and, and Terrawin is totally healthy. Holy shit, that is fantastic. So, um, let's get him. Let's get him down here, too. We'll get another patrol point set up here uh, for Terrawin. We'll unpause, and... Oh, God, off he goes. Oh, jeez, he's like a bat out of hell. Here he goes. Lots of gyrating. Uh, the Yeti is... Oh, my God, Terrawin's bruised. Oh, my goodness. We got an epic weapon. Look at this. Wooden longsword of the hawk that dropped from that yeti. Terrawin, uh, how much damage does it do? Uh, it does 256 damage. And how much does Terrawin's spear do? I can't even remember. It does 299. Um, spear's still better. But somebody else can have that. That's going to be great. So um, what we'll do is we'll set up another stockpile down here uh, for crap that we find. Uh, right here. That should be enough, and uh, we'll manage this stockpile, disable, disable all, and manage again. Uh, we want, uh, what do we want? Do we want materials? No, we probably want um, misc, don't we? No, we don't. Oh my god, enable badger den. Jesus Christ. Um, materials? Do we want? Do we want materials? No. Um, I guess we need to build a um, a barrel uh, or or like some sort of item chest or whatever. So that's fine. We'll do that. We'll uh, we'll destroy the stockpile. Let's get another container, and do we want a tool chest? No. Let's just get a weapons cabinet set up down here, uh, so that when we make some other stuff, uh, they'll just break down here straight away anyway. There we go. Oh my god, Fort Fantastic's first weapon cabinet in episode one, if you can believe it. Oh, and check this out too. Uh, if we assign him as a guard now, patrol points are gone, and, uh, and he's just back to milling around here. Uh, because he's a guard now, if uh, if any of the other townspeople um, get in a fight with the Yeti, uh, Terowin will literally just sense a ripple in the force and just barrel across the map to help them out. Oh god, yeah. Oh, here we go. Pick up this weapon. Who is that? Muriel? God, Muriel's just holding it in her hands and she's just like, Oh my god, I can feel the power emanating from this epic weapon. Hell yeah, Muriel. Uh, it's not for you, though. You, d you don't get it. Um, so here we go. Everybody's going to start harvesting some cherries and some pears, and uh, and we should be good, actually. Um, if we get a little bit of wood... Oh, hang on. We're going to have to send Terowin up here again. God damn it, Terowin. He's, he's just a guard now, uh, but we're going to set him as patrol guy again. Uh, he's going to put his aviators on. We're going to add a patrol point here for Terowin. And, uh, and he's going to dispatch yet another Yeti. Oh, God, yeah, this is fantastic. Well, no, he's just going to have a... Jesus Christ, Terowin. I'm trying to big you up here, like, big time. And he's just he's just sleeping on the job. So, I mean, what can you do about that? Let's uh, let's get these trees chopped down. We need a little bit of wood. Because uh, we're going to get some pens set up. We'll get, a, uh, we'll get a cow and a pig pen set up on the grass here. Uh, it's going to be great. So much progress. God, I can't believe it's only episode one. Just like shit ton of progress. Let's get the pig pen here. We, we really need to maximize our space. So it's going to be like Tetris. Uh, we're going to try to get something in every goddamn square of this grass here. Um, where did that pig go? Oh, there he goes. Oh, Jesus Christ. This guy's all over it. Walter. Walter is like the pig whisperer. Um, no, you can. You can actually. Oh, no. Walter uh, fell asleep while whispering to the pig, apparently. Uh, let's also get a cow farm set up, because there's a cow within within yelling distance anyway. Somebody can come and yell at this cow. Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, look at this. We got another pig. Let's get another pig farm set up. Jesus Christ. Yeah, we're on a roll here. This is fantastic. Um, pig farm. Oh, God. Uh, oh, jeez. The cow farm is built already. Uh, here comes Terowin. We're going to have to set another patrol point for him here. This Yeti is getting too close for comfort. Uh, let's also remove this patrol point because we don't want Terowin going back there. Oh, God, yeah. Look at look him go. The Yeti is mortally wounded. Uh, Terowin is also severely wounded. So let's, uh, let's set him as a guard again. Actually, no. Let's set him as a supervisor. This is great. He's going to be captain of the guard, Terowin. So uh, we'll sign him as a supervisor. This is awesome. He, he goes around and he yells at people. So when people are sleeping or trying to do some other shit that I don't want them to do, I don't need to worry about it. Terowin's going to be all over them. God, he's going to... He, look at this. He's, he's already found somebody to yell at. Who is it? 
Oh, see that? Exclamation mark. Oh my god, Rose is just like, Oh, Terowin, please! Please don't hurt me! I will I will move faster! Oh, and, and Sedney as well. Look at this. Terowin's just like, Oh shit, yeah, the power's getting to my head. I will scream at everybody. Oh my god, yeah. Let's get a badger farm going too. We've got the wood. We've got a badger. Um, we just gotta cut this bush. Get out of here, bush. We don't need you here. We want to get a badger farm set up. There we go. Badger farm. Holy hell. And uh, let's also till this grass here to get some more wheat. Oh my god, yeah, this is going to be great. That is an actual Tetra shape as well. Um, that's fantastic. Jesus Christ. Okay, planting some wheat. We're going to use that wheat. How are we doing for food? We're doing okay. We got six cherries and three pears. Oh my god, with this wheat, we're going to be able to make some flour. We've got the cow farm. We're going to be able to make pies. We won't need to worry too much about cooking, cooking meats and stuff soon. Uh, why isn't anybody picking up this badger? Come on. Jesus, hell. Um, are there any yetis around? Uh, yeah, there's one here. Oh, shit. Actually, that reminds me. Um, while we've got all the makeshift, makeshift stuff up, we're going to also get a little makeshift hospital set up for old Tarot in here. Uh, just in case, just in case shit really hits the fan and, uh, and he needs to, uh, he needs to heal. There, see, look, he's already like, oh god, get me the pill cabinet. I'm, I'm severely wounded. I'm just gonna lay on the floor and wait here until somebody just sorts it out. Don't worry, Terowin, we're all over it. We're, uh, we're gonna sort it out for you. Uh, here we go. Chop some wood. Oh, yeah, god, I, god, I love progress. Just, it's so fantastic. Just makes me feel so good. Um, I think we're missing one piece of wood for the badger farm. Uh, there's there's a badger uh, within throwing distance, and uh, oh god, yeah, Walter is just like at, he's got such an affinity with the animals of these lands. He's just he's all over it. Let's also pick this cave mushroom. Hell yeah, give me some give me some cave mushroom action. Um, <laughs> reindeers we can't do anything with. Uh, you can't cook their meats or anything. Uh, so we're just going to kill reindeer a lot, actually, and uh, and keep their raw meats uh, for an emergency. So let's uh, let's get a raw food barrel set up down here, too, that we can put all of that junk in. And, uh, and hopefully nobody will have to eat it, because that's kind of disgusting. I mean, nobody really wants to eat raw meat. Um, God, let's kill this rooster and this stupid bull as well. Get out of here. We don't want you guys around here. And this bird, too. Look, I'm actually pausing the game. Because I want to kill this bird. I, look, I paused it and I still can't even... Sl oh, there we go. Yeah, you're going down, bitch. You are going down! Oh, I hope that's not Copernicus, actually. He's not making anybody laugh uh, nearly as much as Copernicus would. But uh, look at this. Terran's like laughing his head off. So that must be Copernicus there. Just, just hovering around, tweeting, and just like pooping. Gentle poops, though. Not like, not serious poops. On, uh, on Tarawin, but Tarawin's just like, oh, whatever, just poop on me, you're so hilarious, I don't really care anyway. Um, okay, let's uh, let's wrap it up there for now. That that was episode one. This is Fort Fantastic. Uh, I'm sure you agree, already uh, quite the fantastic fort. Uh, it has no walls, uh, it barely has any infrastructure, but everybody's alive still, which is pretty amazing, actually. And, uh, oh my god, uh, speaking of which, holy shit, before, oh, he's still severely wounded. What are you doing there, Sedney? God, it's dangerous out in the woods. You need to move, like, uh, really quickly. Um, she probably won't, but if I set this big order to harvest, maybe she'll, uh, maybe she'll think twice. She's actually eating raw poultry right now, which, uh, you know, she might get some salmonella or something, which would be terrible. But, um, oh, there she goes. Look, she actually does have salmonella. Look, she's moving like a snail and puking. That's, that's why you should never eat uh, raw poultry. It's, it's really bad for you. You, you must cook it. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, um, that was it. That's, that's episode one. This is Fort Fantastic. Uh, already off to a pretty good start. Um, a lot of it is makeshift at the moment, but uh, once, we've, once we've sort of dealt with the Yeti, uh, we'll get to work on, uh, on building it up into a spectacular fortress and it's gonna be great so um as usual thanks for watching and uh i'll catch you for the next one